guys, Brenda Smith. I wanted to show you how I'm assembling my 2014 hybrid December Daily album. I am using exclusively Just Jamie uh, digital products that I printed out. And um, I've already worked quite a bit on the album, as you can see here. I'll go through that and show it with you in just a second. But um, I wanted to show you all my little setup here. I have some journal cards that I'm gonna be including in between some of the pages. Over here, these are my background um, cards that I'm going to be laying the photos on top, as well as just some regular sized journal cards that I've filled out. Um, these are just little bits of word art that I'll be adding to my photos and the rest of the pages. These are labels to add my numbers onto. And then I have all my photos printed out in different sizes. And these are just scraps of paper that I'm going to be using to cover up um, back sides of, of cards and things like that. So I'll show you a little bit of that in a little bit. But first, let's go through um, this first part of my album. So this entire album is hybrid. As you can see, I've printed up everything um, as separate layers. And I've been assembling and trying just to get a really thick, kind of chunky look to this album so I think I've achieved that and in fact I think I might have to do um, split this into two albums so uh, that's a little bit of a problem I suppose but oh well uh, this is the um, Santa this one's from Just Jamie's December 2014 storyteller line uh, but the I do believe in Santa word art that I stitched onto there is from her current storyteller so December 2015 storyteller this one is also from that. That's called Riley. The December Storyteller Collection is called Riley. And I don't know if you can tell there, but the little word art up here says, love you always. Um, so I have this journal card here that I mounted onto a four by four um, piece of paper, digital paper. Um, and then the back side, because it was sticking up over the, the card, the back side I covered with just some of those scraps of extra paper, like I told you. So um, I did that there. This is just kind of like the intentions, why I'm doing this album. Uh, my typewriter was broken when I did this page, so I never wrote on these tags, but I'll definitely go back and add to that. Uh, I do try to do as much typing as I can in Photoshop just because it's easier, like that's what this is. Uh, but I do also like using my typewriter for other things just because I feel like it does have a more authentic look than just printing it off. But um, I took this and I cut it out with my silhouette. It's word, uh, word art from Just Jamie. And then I stitched it. I didn't really glue it on except for stitching through it. So I like the little bit of dimension that it gives. Uh, there's this photo here and it's hanging off the edge as you can see. I've yet to cover this circle but I do intend to with some sort of pattern paper. But uh, on the other side, one of my favorite techniques to do is to add some paint. Um, just Jamie always has paint included in her storyteller collections, digital paint, and I always like to try to add a little bit of digital paint to either my photos or my cards just because I like the little bit of extra color that it gives. So these pictures I printed up at three and a half inches by five inches, and they stick up quite a bit over the card as you can see here. Um, but, you know, I covered a, the back side with the paper and then put the label and I think it turned out well. So this I printed up as a double um, page photo, obviously. I showed in my digital process for this album how I go about doing that, but I really like the effect. I still have to add some word art here to this one. And then another full page photo here. 
Okay, so now what I'm going to be working on is I'm going to add to the back side of this. I'm going to start with day 17. So let's get to it. So because I'm gluing the cards back to back, I am approaching this album chronologically. So the next day that I'm working on is day 17. Uh, and I should actually clarify, it's not necessarily day 17. I am doing... 25 memories of December 2014 so these are not necessarily chronological and I actually ended up making some mistakes um, and placing some days where I didn't mean to some pictures where I didn't mean to so um, it's definitely out of order but it's okay I just decided to kind of relax my brain about it and just embrace it so what I'm doing now is I took some of the digital paper that I printed out from Just Jamie and I uh, glued it onto the back side of that picture that is sticking up over the edge. So as you can see there, it's that uh, aqua weathered wood grain. So that's on the back side of that photo there. Um, and then you can see it peeking up over the photo on the opposite side, uh, which is day 16. I am looking for a little bit of word art that I printed out. And I chose this one that has uh, the phrase, the little things. And I wanted to pop it up with a little bit of foam dimensional adhesive. So I'm putting some on before uh, adhering to the page. One of the themes that I've been carrying throughout this album is stitching through the numbers. So I take the card over to my sewing machine and stitch in plain white thread. I'm gluing the 17 card onto the back side of the 16 card and I have a Tim Holtz hole punch that I am using for this album to get the holes uh, in the proper placement for a 4x4 album. The 4x4 album that I am using is by We Are Memory Keepers uh, and uh, I take that back it's not We Are Memory Keepers this one is Project Life um, Heidi Swap. I trimmed off the edge of the back side of that card because there was a little bit of white hanging off, so I trimmed it off. Um, the other side of that 17 is a journal card, so now I'm moving on to uh, memories 18 and 19. So as you can see on these uh, cards that I've printed up, I've added a little bit of digital paint in Photoshop. Um, those paint files are painted by Jamie and then scanned in and turned into digital files. So I am pulling from the labels that I've printed up. I didn't necessarily plan uh, for these labels which ones would go on which uh, memory, which page, so I'm just kind of making it work. So I'm trying out the numbers here and I decided that I didn't like them quite that high up on the picture because I thought uh, what she was doing in the picture was an important part of the memory. So I scooted the label down um, and the numbers are down as well. So then I am just finding a little bit of word art. I have this one that says, I believe, and I want it to be a little bit um, higher up like the number stickers are. So I popped it up with some foam adhesive. On this side, it's one of the rare family photos that we have together. My husband and I work opposite schedules. So um, family time or family nights where we could spend time together uh, we're kind of rare, especially in this busy month of December, so uh, this was an important memory to document. I decided on this circular green label. I believe this is from December 2014 Storyteller by Just Jamie. And I like how well the numbers fit on there, and I'm just going to add a little bit more word art. Of course, this one that says family is too perfect so it'll be going on there. I'm popping it up with a little bit of dimensional adhesive as well. Um, I pick up all my foam adhesive uh, at my local craft store, Michael's or otherwise. So days 18 and 19 are finished. I stitch through the numbers. There is, um, I've printed out these two journal cards that I typed on in Photoshop and they will go in between days 18 and 19. So I am gluing the journal cards 3 by 4 in size. I'm uh, gluing them back to back and punching holes in them so they can go in the album. Again, make sure you get the holes on the right side of the card so that they um, can go in your album properly. So I glued uh, the back side uh, of the journal card from day 17. I glued day 18 onto that. 
and I punch the holes. Now this is the one that I punch the holes in on the incorrect side. So I just found some stars that came with the package of thickers that I'm using for the numbers and I put them over the holes on the journal card side which was most noticeable. So now I'm going to start on days 20 and 21, or memories, 20 and 21 rather. And I have these two cards that I'm using. And this photo of my daughter writing her present from Santa, or uh, ATV, it's going to hang off the edge a little bit of that background paper there. So I will be gluing on some extra paper onto the back side of that photo. Um, but first I picked a label that I had printed out and put it under the photo and um, I just picked out a black rectangular label. Now I am going ahead and placing the numbers 20 and I am going to pick out a paper to go on the back side of that card in a minute. But right now I'm going to move on to day 21. This is my son with his little uh, ATV ride on and he was so excited and rode around with a big smile on his face all day that day so um, these are memories that I wanted to remember. So I pulled out this journal card that will be part of day 22 because I wanted to find a background paper that would go well with it. I picked out this green and blue stripe and I'm going to uh, glue it onto the back side of that photo of my son on his ATV which is for day 21 and I just kind of set the paper there haphazardly I could have measured and done it that way but I just decided to kind of um, get it done in whatever manner uh, was quickest at the moment so that's what I ended up doing um, and I just trimmed away the excess so if you're one who is really conscious about um, not wasting any, then you probably don't want to do it this way. So if you plan on stitching through your numbers or any other part of your pages like I did, um, you don't want to glue on the back sides uh, until you've done your stitching. So I almost did it just there, but then I remembered to uh, finish the other side first so then I could stitch on it and then the back side, the underside of the stitching wouldn't come through on the opposite page. So um, I finished up with a just a blue diagonal stripe label that was from um, Just Jamie's December 2014 Storyteller Collection and just my numbers, the 21. Um, and those numbers are from uh, American Crafts, they're thickers, and these are from the Chamel Christmas line. I don't remember what the line is called, but um, they're from this year, December 2015's Chamel Christmas line. So what you don't see me doing off camera here is um, I have chosen a digital paper to go on the back side of that photo of my daughter and her ATV, so I just trimmed it. I will show you later on in the video what I chose for the back side paper there. Um, but as of now, I found a little word art that I wanted to go on this day 21. So I got out my foam dimensional adhesive and um, added it to this and then I'm going to take those and stitch them in. 